Hi everyone, I'm singer Suai and I'm from Ukraine. I'm 17 and today I'm ready to share with you some wonderful minutes of this interview and tell you a little about myself. The first question, who is Suva? Suva in Ukrainian means evil, it's my spirit bird, my mascot. When I started my career, it was a year and a half ago. When I was 16 during the pandemic, it was a difficult time for everyone and for business too. I started by searching for a team and after this, I developed my career every day. Despite coronavirus, I and my team did a lot of work and achieved a lot. We released eight songs and shot eight videos, did a successful collaboration with top artists in Ukraine, Melvin. Now I want to tell you a little story about my stage name. As a beginning of my career, I knew that I needed to have a stage name because I felt when I'm on the stage, it's like another person. It's not Diana. I felt like on the stage, it's a secret part of my personality. I believe in science as a destiny is chosen me and I have a lot of prophetic dreams. It happens very often. And a day before, when I had to choose my stage name, I had a dream of where I was a novel. This is the biggest argument why I'm a novel. And what is interesting, I always travel and from every country I bring novels like souvenirs. And then I even didn't notice it like all my room was full of these birds. I worked every day and I did what I was afraid to do because when we do what we are afraid of, it makes us more confident. And I have a big and powerful team with which we are going to succeed. First tip, find your people who will help you to develop your career. Second tip, don't be afraid to write songs and music by yourself. And the last tip, give as many concerts as possible because the stage is an integral part of the artist. What was difficult for me is a choice because when you only create your project, you, you face a choice you need to make and the right decisions. And every choice has an effect on your career. That's why the choice was the most difficult for me because I understood all the responsibility. It's a performance at the biggest area in Ukraine, Palace of Ukraine, when I first sang live with Melvin our song Tame is Not and the Ukrainian show Vecher Premier Skaterne Osech. And the second moment was when I got on the long list for the national selection of Eurovision. When my career was only half year old, I received a notification on my phone that a package has been sent to me. When I opened the package, I was surprised because there was a list and gifts for my fans. There were t-shirts with my logo painted by her hand and with my song titles. It was a mask and a shopper. I think that in five years I will perform not only in Ukraine but also in Europe and I will gather large concert venues. Now my call is to reach European level. I think that every artist should have a message in their song and my song Free Love has an important message about free relationships and about free love that no matter who you love, what is really important is who you are and which acts you do for this world. We must respect each other. Free love is about freedom. We were born to be free and we can live the way we want. We did the song for seven days and to be honest, it was pretty hard to do it because at first it was hard to find a song. We listened to almost 200 songs and we felt like we didn't find the song for your vision. Time passed, but we were sure that my song would definitely come to me. When we received the song Free Love, we understood and felt that it was my song and our story. In seven days, we completed the song. We made music, recorded vocals, arrangements, mastering, and then I sent my application for Eurovision. Yes, I have a goal to represent Ukraine in Eurovision. And I will apply until I win the national 
song contest Eurovision in Ukraine. My plans for the near future are my first solo concert in Kiev on the 24th of March in Caribbean Club where I will release my first debut album which is called Sova, just like my project. There will be 11 songs on the album, some new songs and some songs which my audience listened to before and we are preparing a show with a famous director. I'm not a movie buff, but I have two favorite movies. It's Harry Potter and Predators of the Caribbean. I think I can watch it again and again. For example, The Witcher or The Vampire's Diaries or M with an E, Stranger Things. I like to read a book in my little hobby and I read them every day. But if I'm in a bad mood or I feel sad, I prefer to watch a film. Monster, Justin Bieber, Sean Mendes, and Marilyn Monroe. Every baby needs a dead, dead daddy. I have a dream. Where's Billy Eilish? <laughs> Ariana Grande and Harry Styles. And if to choose from Ukrainian artists, it would be Artem Pilvaro or The Heart Kiss. A lot of artists inspires me, but Ariana Grande is really my crush. Both because in winter you are with your family, it's very holiday season and there are a lot of holidays, but in summer you can create a bright look. <laughs> it's very funny. It would be socks because I can take them off and be without them. I don't know. Neither. I prefer to be at the moment. Here and now. Sometimes, sometimes, I think that I can read people's mind and no, I'm not crazy, <laughs> but maybe I just have big intuition, I'm not sure, and, but if to choose, I choose be able to fly, R.K. Duncan Lawrence. I would choose to be a smartest, because if you are a smart cookie, you have humor. Definitely, it will be a crummy! Thank you for inviting me. I think that interviews like this has an important message and are a place for development of young artists. Bye!